Okay, in this little video, I'm going to show you how to do a bulk upload and import to make changes to your site quickly and do so without screwing up the site. Unfortunately, one of the problems with this technique is that it's really easy to screw up your site as there's no preview and there's no rollback button. So you will have to, to protect yourself and do this very carefully. So the first thing is to go into the export over here use bulk edit and it will produce a file for you you can now play with it in Excel so one some of the things I found really helpful First of all, you want to save a copy of the unadulterated form so that if you do screw it up, you can restore the store. Yes, keep it in CSV format. The second thing I tend to do is I come in here and I do a sort. To get rid of everything that isn't a product. So this is an item type and I erase all the rules and SKUs. Now it is possible to add these kinds of features uh, and edit these through the CSV sheets, sheet since that is a more complicated process. It's not in the scope of this particular video. and just clean up the sheet. Oops, I think I just deleted all the products. Okay, in this particular case, I'm a little surprised there isn't more here, but we've got a collection of products. So there's certain categories that have to be present. The item type is one, the item ID is another, the product name I usually leave here. This is unimportant. Now, one of the things you want to do is delete all the fields <clears throat> you're not editing. And this will help prevent you from overwriting areas you don't want to mess with. So you can delete almost every field. You need category has to be, remain as well. That's one you usually have to do. The biggest place where you're likely to screw up your website is with your images and I just want to explain these fields real quick so this is the image that's been uploaded this is the image description or otherwise known as an alt image and um, by the way if you haven't already added these to your images you may want to go ahead and do that uh, <clears throat> I strongly represent recommend removing these two fields and quite frankly unless you're editing them that you remove all of them now this just tells you which image is your thumbnail and and that this again seems to be something so typically I will eliminate all the image fields right away just to make sure I don't screw it up and there's a lot of them let's see here so in this case, I'm going to add meta page titles. <clears throat> so in this case, let's see, here's the page title field. Now you don't want them to match your product description exactly um, because that's a Google SEO fault, you do want a page title. So in this case, I'm just going to put the name of the store. These days, consumers don't see these very often. And if I'm gonna do this to everything, I usually use the Excel advanced features and just concatenate all of them. 
but in this case I'm just showing you how to add an upload. Okay, so I made the changes I wanted to make to this sheet. I'm going to save it. Actually, I want to save as, so I'll go back in here and give it a unique name. I usually date them. Okay, then we come back in here and go to import. Choose your file. <laughs> Upload me. It was exported using the bulk template. So in this particular case, most of the time you're making changes, so you do want to overwrite. If you're adding new pages, this would new products, this would be unchecked. This is also another one. If you've got blank fields, you want them to overwrite. You go ahead and, and, and uncheck this. Uh, I can tell you right now, sometimes it overwrites anyway. So I, again, this is one of the reasons I strongly recommend uh, deleting any columns you're not using except those required. And, oh, it tells me I saved it as an XLS sheet. Well, that was my own bad. So let me open it up. and save it as a CSV. Okay. Okay, click next. You can go down here and see which fields, any fields you've deleted or marked with an ignore, um, you do have the option to go ahead and mark any field ignore. But it isn't necessary unless you've screwed something up. And then start the import. At this point, it tells you, I usually go in here, and a lot of times I will just go in and click to visit the site from the front end to make sure that nothing's been damaged. And this site is a demo site, so it's not been formatted real well, but you get the idea. I didn't screw it up. Um, one of the things I do look for is category images because a lot of times that seems to be where I screwed up. In any case, that's it. That's all you needed to know and you should be able to upload and make your site changes a lot faster.